Today we're dealing with the issue of osteoporosis. And it's estimated that in, in Europe alone, that out of a population of 475 million people, that 800,000 patients per annum actually suffer the trauma of a broken hip. And when you look at that in raw economic terms, and you know, we have to factor in economics and the cost factor into all of this, you're talking about 32 billion in terms of the net cost factor alone. The purpose of today's particular event is one, education, two, to learn what is the situation in relation to what's best practice, and three, how we go forward in terms of improving research. Here in the Parliament, we are going to be linking up with other interest groups, um, including arthritis and diabetes and um, heart conditions. I think what we need to do is to get the Commission and Member State Government signed up to it. We'd like to get over the fact that uh, there are many measures which can help pre prevent osteoporosis. I think that's the message we, we have to talk about now and get people to understand. For instance, taking vitamin D can make a big difference. It was only really in the late 90s that it became one of the diseases that uh, the medical profession and uh, those of us concerned about these things were thinking about. So there is a lot of ground to be made up, and, but we're starting to do that. The idea is that uh, an initiative on uh, healthy and active aging will contribute to a smart growth. Uh, it will obviously help tackle some of the societal challenge, but it will also enhance European competitiveness and foster economic growth because the idea is pretty much casting the whole debate under the innovation uh, agenda. This challenge is actually quite huge to uh, increase the number of healthy life years uh, by two years from this year until 2020. So this is quite an ambitious target and obviously we, we cannot do it on our own. So the idea is that we put around the table different stakeholders and we sort of uh, split uh, the, the burden of such a huge ambition and that everyone sort of uh, deal and does what they are best uh, capable of doing in, in their own field of, of influence. Bones become weak and brittle, the underlying structure changes and you're at increased risk of fracture. The number of fractures will double in the next 50 years if we don't do something about it and also the cost will double as well. What we need is uh, bodies like the European Parliament to start instituting policies that will, make, that will really make a difference to the end user, the person who has osteoporosis. Uh, we know how much osteoporosis costs right now in the EU. It costs about $36 billion a year, and that's just in direct costs. So we know that preventing fractures is cost effective. So it's time to now put in place policies that will have a direct effect on the person.